We are going to be looking at some petty wedding revenge stories, and we've got four absolute crackers for you. I throw a pretty big Christmas party every year going on a decade now. A few years ago at one, I invited my friend Tara, and she met my fo- former co-worker, Tony, and they hit it off. They dated for a while, and two years later, once again at my Christmas party, she showed up with a ring on her finger, and they announced for the first time that they were engaged. I was super happy for them. They got married this spring, but we didn't get invited. When I was sending around my party invitations this year, I didn't see any reason to invite them back as they didn't think I wasn't worthy of making their guest list. I have known them both for years, basically introduced them, and they literally announced their engagement at my home. It got bad to me today that they were really upset with us for not inviting them this year, that my party is something they consider special, and they think I'm being petty. A couple of friends mentioned it was a smaller wedding and they feel like I'm just punishing them. It wasn't though. There were probably 200 people there and I knew at least 50 of them and I was a little surprised at some of the names that made the cut over us. I didn't make a stink about it or anything but I don't see why I should welcome them into my house again after being snubbed like that. My partner thinks I should just let it go and invite them back, but I don't see a reason why I should. Oh, oh. that's drama. Oh. Wow. Oh, so they met at her house, at her Christmas party. Yep. She introduced them. Yep. They got engaged. Mm-hmm. Big deal. She's like a, like a main character in their life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then didn't get invited to the wedding. Oh. I didn't want even a small wedding. No. Oh, that's tricky, isn't it? When, when you know, like... 50 people that yeah. have gone as well. That hurt me, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, it upset me. me. Yeah, well, like, if you knew like everyone were going, but you weren't. Yeah. Even though like, they met and you introduced them. Yeah, I'd be oh, so angry about it. I feel like it. that'd hurt. I feel like I'd be upset by that. I know, I'd kind I'd of be like... massive FOMO. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> yeah, I think... I don't know. I think I'd maybe like reach out to her and be like... Yeah. You know, is that have I done something wrong? Is there a specific yeah. reason that you haven't invited me to the wedding? Because, you know, I thought we were good friends and maybe handle it like that over... Well, I'm You're not dead them. to me. Don't come to my Christmas party anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what could they possibly say, do you reckon, though? Like, why they want why she not invited? I don't think they've really got any excuse. Would you invite them to a Christmas party next year or would you just... <sighs> I think I would because I'm a nice person, but I think a part of me would definitely have to reach out and be like, I'm a bit confused why I wasn't invited to your wedding. Yeah, I think you'd have to because otherwise you just don't invite them yeah. and then you're causing that rift. Fellas yeah. play like, just get on with it. It's yeah. like, I didn't want to go to the wedding anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really that boring. bothered. But yeah, that is, that's a, t- yeah, I feel like you got to reach out. And yeah. yeah, 100%. Yeah, that or just start making, you know, invite them to the Christmas party and just start making snidey comments. Like, oh, <laughs> did, oh. did you have volivants at the wedding? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can feel really uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, she must have done something bad though, so I get invited. I'm trying to think like, because she seems like she has such a part in the, in the, like, the bringing of them together. I know, yeah. but... So they're to a 200 plus person wedding. Yeah, but for I them for to it. kind of turn around and go, oh, you know, how come you haven't invited us to your Christmas party? You know, it's a really special event for yeah, us. That's like, true. And your wedding wasn't for <laughs> us. Yeah. Is that, isn't it, that you're like... Oh, I don't know whether maybe people are just oblivious or... Oh. I feel like there has to be like a, another reason why they didn't get invited. I can't think of one offhand, but oh no, for them to me. mention like how much they like the Christmas party, for her to have introduced them together, I'm like, what other reason must there have been for them not to be invited? I mean... Did and if there were 200 people as well, it's not even like it were a small I wedding. Know, no. that's the thing, isn't it? I mean, did one of them used to like go out with one yeah. of them yeah that's probably like the that. only thing that you can think maybe background. there's like a little like secret her fellow didn't get invited actually like has done something weird with the couple or something yeah there's some kind of like yeah. sexual history she doesn't, yeah. know, she doesn't know but he knows so he's kind of like yeah. oh that's weird that we didn't get invited oops <laughs> I just, don't know honestly, honestly, about just it. let it go love let it go yeah. it's fine stop, stop and he like petty. propositioned them for a threesome once or something yeah. and she didn't know and they're trying not to tell her yeah <laughs> so they, but they're like oh we don't want to invite you because it's weird because yeah. we're getting married maybe that's it maybe we've cracked yeah. the case yeah <laughs> he's just got images of double-ended dildos and he's like they're not coming <laughs> yeah <laughs> they ain't coming <laughs> Someone suggested I post a story from my wedding here featuring my husband's ex. 
Important info, we decided to have a micro wedding with just our immediate family there, around 10 people. We got married at a venue that is known for holding very large events, but we hired a smaller room there. My husband is a child with his ex, so sees her quite often for things related to my stepkid. We were always planning on inviting her to the wedding to see their kid all dressed up and to generally keep a good co-parenting relationship. Before we had invited her, she informed the husband that she'd be there and asked when and where it was. He was a little taken back, but as we were planning on inviting her anyway, he just told her. On the day, she showed up to our morning ceremony wearing the shortest dress I've ever seen. Over stockings and suspenders. The suspenders could be seen for a good six inches from the bottom of the dress. Skyscraper heels, nightclub makeup and costume, ju- costume jewellery. My father actually pulled me aside to ask who hired a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> I found out afterwards from mutual friends that she had texted all of them asking when they were getting there. Because she had invited herself, we hadn't thought to let her know it was such a small ceremony. And when they let her know it was a family only and the reception was completely separate, she began to panic a little. And I had the best petty revenge. I asked everyone to be extra nice to her. Every time she tried to sneak away, someone would engage her in conversation. She was extremely uncomfortable and ended up sitting down with her coat covering her. The wedding went off without a hitch. I'm not sure what she expected to happen, but it all worked out fine in the end. Absolutely brilliant yeah kill them with kindness that's the best way that's the way that's a good like way to deal with that so she turned up trying to like you know show basically husband what you've been missing sort of thing yeah stockings and lot oh, oh is that no. when you said like when she said like stockings short suspenders dress. i'm like wow are you going to see like Rocky Horror Picture Show <laughs> or are you rocking up to a wedding? Like? I feel like in a big wedding as well with like hundreds of people, you could get away with it. But to turn up to a small wedding dressed like that Ten to people. try and like cause a bit of a scene. You're going to stick out like a sore thumb, aren't you? That must, she must have felt so awkward like rocking up knowing there's only like 10 people there and she's literally dressed like however she's dressed there's, with stockings and the lot. Yeah, oh. there's like a little part of me that like really enjoys this kind of thing you know because she's kind of she's like i'm gonna look a certain way yeah. i'm going to the wedding like this and then it's all backfired on her because yeah. it's literally 10 <laughs> people and she's so embarrassed that she's like wearing a coat over her yeah that i'm like wow babe you have done that to yourself i think it's like you say it's just I, I love that it's backfired on her. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love the way, like, it's backfired as well. Like, the bride was just, just be really nice to her yeah. all yeah. day. Don't let her sneak off. Don't let her get in a car and drive away. Yeah. Always make a conversation. Make her stay there. Yeah. And, make, like, yeah. wear what she's wearing. Don't let her leave. Yeah. And make her, like, just think about what she's done. Let I love her, it. Let her fester Woo! in it. Well done. It's a well 10 out of 10 response. It is. Love it's that. Brilliant. Yeah, it's great. brilliant. I, 38 female, have, or had for that matter, a best friend of 24 years. We've been best friends since freshman year of high school. We'll call her Taylor for the sake of the story. Me and Taylor did everything together. We've always had each other's backs and went through all ups and downs together. And I mean all. Problems started popping 10 months ago, however. I had a husband named Alex of two years and I was madly in love with him and kind of still am. I found out Alex had cheated on me with Taylor 10 months ago. It was confusing. I was experiencing all sorts and types of pain and grief and the situation was horrible. Both of them were at my feet begging me to forgive them and take them back. I cut Alex off and forgave Taylor. I don't know why. However, six months ago, Taylor kept telling me she found a guy and she kept talking about him. Yes, I forgave her, but deep down, I didn't get over what she did. I was going through tough times because of her and Alex's actions, but she was living her best life. Two days ago, it was Taylor's wedding. The feeling of pettiness never left my soul, so I showed up in her dress wearing a white dress and a face full of makeup. I could see that Taylor was upset, however she chose not to make a scene. When the priest asked if there were any objections, I raised my hand and said, yes, I object. 
A whole fight broke out in there with people booing me and yelling at me. <laughs> if someone ever objects at a wedding, the wedding is done for and it cannot go on at all. My friends are telling me that I did nothing wrong and karma got her, but her family and mine are telling me I'm an arsehole. Taylor blocked me on all social media. Am I the arsehole and was I being too petty? Slightly, maybe. Uh. I understand that, like, your best friend hooking up with your ex-husband is always going to be difficult. Mm -hmm. Awful. And I understand why you sack off the ex-husband and reunite with the friend of 24 years. Yeah. I understand all that. That makes sense. But I do think it's too petty. You just yeah. gotta, you've got to let it go, aren't you? I think if you're going to rekindle that friendship, yeah. if you're going to go like, husband dead to me. Let's put it know. behind us. But yeah, but if you're rekindling that friendship of 24 years, you've kind of got to just accept that that's what you're doing and try and yeah. move on. I think if she wanted to, in the back of her mind, like you say, get a bit of revenge wear the dress okay everyone's not gonna thank you for it yeah. but if that's your way of doing it okay do what you need but i don't think the objection needed to be done yeah i just yeah i agree and i'm kind of like just don't go don't go to yeah. the wedding yeah if, yeah that's such a weird like because you literally like you might as well be sat watching them fuck each other yeah yeah it, it must feel the same way as that basically yeah. like just being sat there knowing that you may and your ex-husband have got together. I just won't go. Nah, no, same. I do think he's slightly paying. I think the objection thing's probably too much. Yeah. yeah. Wear white, wear a dress, yeah. wear all your best clobber, go in there looking like a million dollars, Yeah. put on a little show, and then leave it at that. Yeah, 100%. But there's no way you can continue being friends with no, Taylor. You, Taylor. No, you can't. And I'm kind of, but I'm kind of like, if you if you knew you had those feelings, then you probably just shouldn't have rekindled that friendship. Mm. You yeah. probably should have just gone like, this is Damage too is much. Done, yeah, this is too much. You clearly didn't care enough about my feelings. So, and and just leave it at that. Yeah. Don't then kind of linger in someone's life just to go, oh, at one point, I'm really going to fuck you over because that's how <laughs> it feels. It yeah. doesn't feel like... Well, this is a friendship and I, I hold it really dear. So, you know, forgive and forget. It feels like, well, I'm going to keep this friendship just yeah. to one up you at some point. Yeah, it does sound like she's kind of been waiting for a moment and that was her prime moment. Yeah. <laughs> not the greatest. Yeah, I understand why you'd want the moment. I do understand why yeah. you'd want the yeah. moment. Yeah, I but it. I feel like you'd have to pull yourself away and just move countries. <laughs> 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 yeah. Just avoid the two people Goodbye. forever. Yeah, like, if I see her. Yeah. A couple of months ago, my sister, 30, told my mum that she had a really tight budget for a wedding and couldn't afford the big wedding she had dreamt of. I, 19 female, offered to help her find cheaper alternatives to the decorations she wanted. She asked if I could make custom baskets and robes with the bridesmaids' names on them for less than half of what I usually charge because she couldn't find someone who could make them for a cheap enough price. I agreed. Eventually, she managed to save a lot and was able to get the dress she originally wanted. I figured everything else was fine until last week. My sister decided she did not want her kids at her wedding because she wanted the adults to enjoy themselves and drink. I still thought nothing of the sudden change until she told me I was no longer invited to her wedding. When I asked her why, she said it was because I was considered a kid since I can't drink. She said I was still invited to the re wedding rehearsal, but that's it. I told her that since I wasn't invited to the wedding, she should find someone else to do the custom robes and gift baskets or pay me full price for them. This meant she would have to return her dress because everything else she had for the wedding was already the cheapest she could find. Both my mum and dad said I'm being petty and I should still do it because she's my sister. Her fiancé has also called me self-centred and childish and my brother agreed with him. Am I the arsehole here? I should add that we haven't had any arguments in a while and the last big argument was last year, so I don't see what I could have done to make her uninvite me. I live in America, so I can't legally drink for another two years, but I didn't have a problem with not drinking anyway. I was invited and I assumed I could go. 
She was there when I bought my dress. The last thing I want to add is my sister told me there's nothing else to it. She just doesn't want me to be there since I wouldn't be drinking. However, she invited my cousin, who's 20, so I guess she really just hates me. I really don't know. But thank you for all the comments, the awards, and for the eye opener. Wow, oh, that's, that's awful. That's mean. That's just really mean. Have a little cry for her. That made me so sad. As if she didn't like want to invite. It's a sister. I know. Why did her parents turn around? <laughs> no. Stop being go, petty. Yeah, I'm like, did you don't get involved. <laughs> like, it's so mean. Yeah, oh. that is mean, and she ain't being petty in the slightest. Don't make him. No, I don't, don't make, make him. No. Don't do it over. No, nope. no, no. There's no not. way she's being petty on that. I'm, I. I'm fully with her on it. But even still, she's like, I'm not bothered that I'm not drinking. I'm aware I can't drink because I'm not old enough. I just want to kind of be there because she's my sister. What about like people that just don't drink? Are they allowed to go? Like, yeah, you're not invited total, either. Like, you've got to be absolutely smashed drinking. <laughs> otherwise, you're not coming because <laughs> you're like a kid. Charles. But also do me a favour. But you're not invited to the wedding. But well, then to also invite a cousin who's a year older than her that won't be drinking also, it's just it's just really nasty. I don't like that. No, that's wild. I don't, because then, you know, like, you start thinking, don't you? So if he's, she's made an exception for someone, then you are just kind of going, well, what's, what's wrong with me? What have I done? Kind of thing. Yeah, and yeah. I'm just like, that's so mean, especially when you've gone with her to buy a dress as mm-hmm. well. Yeah. I'd um, make a return. Like she should return that dress. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, she should. And I'm no, not pay at all. And is she the asshole? No, but your sister is. Yeah, so your family is. Yeah, and everyone else. The fiance. I'm like, shut your mouth, mate. <laughs> Don't you be getting involved. <laughs> not to do with you, pal. Stay out of the family. Horrible. Yeah, no, not pay at all. No, I just don't get how she's like, oh, yeah, you can make all these things for me because obviously I can't afford to do them. So do that and work your bollocks off doing that. But, yeah, you're not coming. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. That's it for this week, guys. If you can like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications, that would be awesome. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.